Chapter Five. The Valley of Many Noises. Oh. Find me. This is just gonna show up in the middle of the road now? Okay. That picture is a little bit blonder than I expected. Kitty? Burnhouse Lane? But... How did I get here? There is Find Me written on it in big red letters. I feel like this message was left here for me. This could only mean one thing. A new task. Well, the burnt cat told you. Five, right? Oh... Oh! Hey! Ben! Damn, we just get teleported here now. 27. Quarantine area. The Valley of Many Noises. Wax Museum. Don't breathe the sea air. Don't breathe the sea air. Is this supposed to mean something to me? Sea air? Ooh. Don't breathe the sea air. Step into the terrifying world of horror. Wax works. I don't like the sound of that. The cruise of death. Monsters aboard. Launching this summer, Burnhouse Lane. Okay. There's no getting through here. Nurse! Nurse, wake up! Whoa. Come quick! You need to save him! This way, hurry! He's in the stable! Hmm, and somehow... I guess we actually did make it home. How much of this is actually happening versus not happening? I have no clue. Yo, Kieran. Are we in a hurry or what? Why are we all black and white? <gasps> oh no! What's wrong with him? Is he ill? Oh please, nurse, do something. Make him better. I'm not a vet. How did this happen? <gasps> what? Oh. I'm not a vet. I, I don't know what to do. Just try. There has to be something you can do, right? No, Kieran. He's not breathing. And I'm not giving CPR to a horse. Rich is more than a horse. He's... He's my friend. We didn't always see eye to eye, but... I did love this stupid old bastard. I really did. He was a good horse. We're all gonna miss him. How did this happen? Oh, bloody hell. Richard, you silly old sausage. Bye, Richard. <coughs> I've only known you for a short time, but... I thought you were a very sweet and a very lovely horse. I wish I had a chance to get to know you better. Yeah, farewell, matey. You were one hell of a horse. You ran like the wind. I was always proud of you. I'm glad I didn't sell you to those bloody Flanagans I am. 
Gosh, the look on their face when I said no. Ha! <laughs> Bastards. What if I, I just thought... You remember to feed Richard every day, did you? Yes. W what? Because look at him, poor thing. He's skin and bones. Are you saying it's my fault? Well, it is someone's fault. The poor bugger didn't just drop dead for no reason. So pardon me if I'm a little pissed off to see my old friend dead like this. So let me ask you again. Did you or did you not feed Richard as you were meant to? I did. Every single day. Why are you randomly accusing me? And actually, even if I didn't feed him every single day, I don't think... Yeah, skipping a meal or two wouldn't kill him like that. If he was so important to you, why didn't you notice the signs? Yes, I fed him every day. You sure? Yes! Yes, I am. It wasn't even my job, but I did it anyway. You know why? Because I really liked Richard. Believe it or not, you're not the only one that's upset by his death. Ah! Bollocks to that! Everyone's upset. You could all just fuck off! What the hell? Dude. He'll come around. Let's give him some time. I've had him every day. I'm pretty damn sure. How did this happen? Where's Arno? Does he not care about the horse? Time for my daily contemplations yet again. Hmm, the horse dying must mean something. And why are... Why are we still black and white? Because we're so depressed right now. Everything is so gloomy. Doesn't feel like things are getting easier. We're committing a lot of murder and... Is my cancer getting any better? Not at the moment. We'll leave Kieran B for now. Guys. I don't know what to say. I should probably make another sandwich for George. We should probably do a little bit more than that, too. Now you're making me paranoid. What if George... Is George gonna be okay? I've been feeding him every day. I've given him sandwiches every day. Right? What's wrong with the TV? Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Hey, the descriptions are different. Here comes the Queen of Sandwiches. It's Tuesday, the 10th of September. Huh. Did we skip a few days? Whoa, what's wrong with the music? It's like all messed up. Looks like we're out of ham. There's no cheese left. Someone's eaten it all. Bet it was Kieran. This mayo's past its expiration date. I can't use it. I thought we had some tuna left, but I was wrong. Oh no. We're out of eggs. Not good. Oh, I have lettuce. There isn't any mustard left in the fridge. Cause, cause we haven't done any grocery shopping. And we're out of tomatoes. Great. Oh no, the pickle jar is empty. <laughs> we got jam and lettuce. And cucumbers. And bacon. Oh yeah, no. This might be a low point in our lives right now. Mmm, <laughs> we have a very limited... well... Jam sandwich should always work, right? Strawberry jam? That's a little bit different than before. We had normal jam. Indescript jam last time. He made a jam sandwich. Good enough.
Now, where's that silly old man gone now? He was in the stables last we saw him. We're only getting color here. Isn't that weird? The moment we step away from the kitchen... Goes away. George? What the hell? Might need to get some renovation guys in here soon. The house might be breaking down a little bit faster than expected. Let's see first. Can I put the cactus down? <gasps> what? Uh, whatever, I'm keeping it anyway. <laughs> is that a joke or is that for real? No powers? Okay. Sure, I guess. That better be a joke. <laughs> mm. I think George is probably not upstairs. Oh god, what? Oh! Hey, we Arno. did the wrong thing. Pardon? We shouldn't have killed her. It was the wrong thing to do. Look, Arno. Kieran didn't really have a choice. He had to shoot him. Her. She wouldn't hurt us. I know it. We made a terrible mistake, and now we'll pay for it. Mate, you didn't see the cellar in that house. It was literally full of... I don't mean to be rude. But can I please ask you to leave? I have some things to think through, and I'd really rather be alone right now. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Sorry. Why did we invite this guy over again? Oh, was he holed up in this computer room the whole time? I guess so. I was wondering who he was talking about, Bloody Mary or Sheila. I don't agree that Kieran had no choice, yet again, but it is what it is. Oh! What are you doing, George? Tell Steve that we're going tomorrow, will ya? We need him to get everything ready. Steve? I didn't mean to look, but we found it by accident. It was just a matter of time. You know what he's like. Naive little fool. Why did she marry him? We'll never know. I have no idea what you're talking about, but do you want to turn off the shower head first? Steve isn't here. It's me, Angie. Fine. Have it your way. Sarah this is mind going. To me. But you. You were always trouble. Snap out of it, George. I know. I'm sorry. I tried. With what? Tried doing what? Oh, come on. You're flooding the house. Sorry, dear. I, I just... What am I supposed to think about this? I've been looking for Steve all day and it's like he's bloody vanished. Well, wherever he is... He's not going to be in this bath, is he? Out we go, George. They're in the kitchen. What? The pearls. They're in the kitchen where you left them. Remember? Oh, I knew I should have called the police as soon as I saw them. This is all because I haven't been taking care of him, isn't it? He seemed fine before and suddenly... Oh. Let's get you out of this bath, George. What? No, not yet. 
I'll drive. I told you. George. You'll have to return these. Return and apologise. I won't have it any other way. Goodness gracious me. A common thief under my roof. What's it come to? He's completely incoherent. Right. I'm sorry. But I'm getting you out, whether you want it or not. Can we please turn off the shower head first? The whole house is flooding. This house can't take much more. It's already downstairs. The fire will warm you up soon enough. You'll be alright, yeah? But... What was that all about, George? Well, I, uh, To be honest, I don't quite remember, dear. But since you're here, we could do with a nice sandwich, if you're not too busy right now. I've already made one. Except we didn't have a lot of stuff left in the fridge, so... It might be a little... different. Oh... I'm sure it's not as bad as you say, dear. Everything is falling apart, just like my body, the cancer eating away at me. He's really not his usual self today, and we've still been black and white this whole time. Maybe Richard's death set off his dementia? Okay. I'm quite alright now, thank you. Okay. Got your favorite sandwich, at least. Hmm... I don't think we should leave him alone in a state like this. It's broken. George will have to get- or, or will have to manage without the TV until we get it fixed. Now what? What was in the kitchen? The pearls? Hey, look, this is the only place with color. What's going on? Out here, it's black and white yet again. Well, the sheep seem like they're doing fine. Uh, is everybody else okay? Arno? Arno just holes up in that room. He doesn't come out, I guess. So we'll have to visit him from time to time to see what he has to say. Not right now. Yeah, we've already done it. But unlike last time, we skipped a few days this time, huh? We were going pretty steady from- It's alright, it's just me. Jenny? Where are you? Oh, good lord. Down here, I found something. We were going pretty steady from, like, uh, September 3rd, 4th, 5th, and then suddenly we made this jump. Which... I don't know, man. Is that how long we were at Burnhouse Lane for? Would that have to do with the horse dying, then? Because earlier, Kieran did ask me, Hey, did you feed the horse every day? But if I've been away for a few days, then... Ooh. But I feel like you can probably survive for a few days. And the, the crate of carrots was right there. The horse could do it by themselves. Like, if they got really hungry, I bet they would just go out and get the crate of carrots. What are you doing, Jenny? Oh! See? A secret door. <laughs> It was well hidden behind these shelves, but I had a feeling there was something special about this basement. Is it the the lab? The weed lab? What were you looking for here? And why? There's something here. Something that even George doesn't know about. Remember that fucking priest? He knew about it, and he wanted to find it too. <laughs> but the bastard was looking in the wrong fucking place. So it was down here. Is it locked? Of course it's locked. You ever seen a door like this that wasn't? And not just with the normal lock. Oh no, it's some fancy electronic device. I don't quite understand. But I will figure it out. I'll get in there. Even if I have to blow this fucker up. <laughs> It's not your house, Jenny. Try to keep it intact, please. Did you try the other door here? The one at the end? Yeah, there's nothing there. Just a little coal storage. 
No one's used it for years. Oh. Okay. Why? No reason. I was just curious. She can't see Burnhouse Lane. It sounded like you were wrecking the place. Jeez, Angie! Why do you always have a problem with everything? I just knocked over what? a bunch of boxes. It's not like anyone gives a fuck. So, please. Pull that fucking stick out of your ass and chill, yeah? Beg your pardon? Yo, you broke- Don't be so what negative, could you? That bad energy on you? Fucking hell, Angie. You really need to work on that. Whoa! I don't like your attitude, Jenny. I thought you were cool. What the hell? You broke the wine- the wine bottles upstairs and you're living in this place? You're squatting here. We're letting you live here. And you're acting like that? Is this one implying that she's... Because we know that she was taking a lot of drugs and if it's a weed lab and there was more drugs inside. Is that gonna piss her off? Why do you care so much about this stupid doll? I just... do. Do you have a problem with that? She might know what's inside because of the priest. Because the priest knows and they were taking drugs together. Yes. You're a guest in this house. You should stop snooping around. And who are you to tell me what to do? Someone who saved your life? And... I'm not telling you what to do. I'm only telling you what not to do. I'd appreciate it if you didn't abuse the trust you've been given in this house. A guest in this house? Huh. So that's what it is. You're jealous because George treats me like I'm Audrey fucking Hepburn. And you're just a nurse. Here to what the wipe hell? his floor when he can't hit the toilet on time. But, sorry darling, you're just gonna have to deal with it. Cause <sighs> I ain't going anywhere anytime soon. Is she high? What's wrong with her? Am I hallucinating? I, I hope I'm hallucinating because she seemed cool before. She seemed kind of sassy and stuff, but she was pretty squarely on our side. And now, what's this? I think you know exactly what's inside. And something tells me it isn't just a 12-year-old pile of spuds. I'm only trying to find something to do on this stupid farm. I'm bored. So, I've tried Leave. to do a little detective work. Solve the mystery of a secret door. But, who am I kidding? I knew you wouldn't understand. And why is that? Oh, forget it. No, say it. You're just... Not a lot of fun, are you? Oh. That really hurts, you know? Yeah, I mean, something is wrong with her. Is she high? Do you think she's high? I don't think it's super important that we find out. It might actually be more interesting that we don't find out, so that we keep wondering what it is, but uh, we, we can use it. What's wrong with her? This isn't you. Tell me what happened. Right. Now. I, uh... I think that... That... There are... Drugs... On the other side... Of the door. Drugs? That perv... From the church... Came here... Cause he needed them. And now I do too. Badly... I get it. You're addicted to drugs. The withdrawal symptoms are hitting you big time right now. That explains a lot. I just need... One... More... Time. It all makes sense. At the end of a great high, there's always a great low. Uh-huh. I feel like... Well, I mean, we knew that already. We sort of figured it out. But as a nurse, we should... I feel like we should have seen this coming as well. Will it work, though? Because the lab, as far as we know, it was like a weed lab. Unless if there was other drugs inside. And weed is not really gonna give her that same high if she was doing whatever... What was she doing before? Like a cane or something? 
I'll talk to you when you're in a better mood. I'm in a great mood, Angie. It'll be even better when I finally open this fucking door. Well, good luck with it. But I don't need your help with that. I'm sure you have better things to do. Like changing George's diapers, starving horses to death, or maybe sucking that fat retard stick. Huh. I bet he'd like that. But <laughs> whatever. I don't care what you do. Just don't come crying on my shoulder when you need a friend. I don't need losers like you to weigh me down. Wow. I'm okay with going to Burnhouse Lane now. We don't have to stay here. F this place. A red blinking eye of the boiler. Okay, I can understand withdrawal symptoms and drug addicts being, um... It might make Jenny say and do things that'll directly get her closer to her goal, which is to get access to drugs. But a lot of the things she was saying, she was just being mean for no reason. Like, what does being mean to me have anything to do with her getting drugs? I'm not even stopping her from opening the door that much. I just said, hey, you're a guest. You shouldn't... You shouldn't... You know, snoop around so much. And she's like... Freaking hitting below the belt. What the... Oh god, there's a... Okay, well... Oh, the wall between us. Emotionally, physically. And that hurts too, because we confided in her earlier. And we were like, hey, can you just stay? Because I need a friend. And now... Damn. Drug addiction or something. Oh, the wax museum again. This looks like some sort of money box. There's a slot for coins in the middle and on a miniature model of a cruise ship on top. It's locked tight. There's money inside. The Valley of Many Noises. Oh. It's locked tight, but we can... We can screwdriver it open, we can shoot the crap open. There's actually not... Uh, there's not much else here. Oh! One dollar entry fee. The coin, of course. I was thinking so hard about how to break open this thing, I never even considered doing it legally. <laughs> okay, great, now break it open so we can get it back. No? Okay. Don't breathe the sea air. Whoa. What is that guy? Psych ward? Padded room. A padded door, the kind you'd find in the psychiatric hospital, except this one is covered in blood. What happened here? You tell me, Angie. Every time we smoke in Burnhouse Lane, it always goes crazy. Looks like the ceiling's collapsed in there. I don't think I'll be getting any gifts today. Please be locked. How do I open it? The doorknob is missing. Oh well, that, that's a really big shame. I think I can hear the sea on the other side of this door. Don't breathe the sea air. Wow. Ton of people here. Uh, okay. You don't want to talk? Nobody wants to talk? We're on a ship. What's that squelching noise? Do I need my gun? Okay. Oh, 
Okay, everyone's just sort of ignoring me. Wow, this is a really big ship. Okay. Whoa, whoa. I can't move. Is that? Whoa. Oh, they've. Everyone here has been frozen. Oh. <gasps> oh my God! What is that? Please be gentle. I'm pretty fragile. But not that fragile. What the heck is that? It's got no face! Am I cold? Shit. Oh, I still have consciousness. That's the worst part. What now? Oh, the wax uh, museum. Hello? Is that a jar of eyeballs? Hello? Who's that? <sighs> the name's Murphy. I'm the one in the hat. Can you see me? What the hell's happened to me? Well, what do you think happened? You saw the warning signs and you ignored them. Uh, just like me. Signs? What signs? Don't breathe the sea air. Does that ring any bells? But there's no point arguing about it. We're practically already dead. What's wrong with the air? You fill your lungs with that shit. And it freezes all your motor functions for as long as it's circling in your system. It's also painful as hell. Not at first, but mark my words, you'll feel it too. Even within Burnhouse Lane, there's all sorts of strange places. How is it possible for us to not breathe the sea air? Just don't come here. How long have you been here, Murphy? I don't know. The day and night cycle doesn't exist aboard this ship, but it feels like a very long time. I think the worst part is we can still think and talk. Well, talk might be good because we can still chat, but being conscious about this. How did you end up on Burnhouse Lane? Oh, darling, the things I'd done, it was all just a matter of time. I came to Burnhouse Lane to pay for the lifetime of overindulgence. But the price... Well, the price has exceeded my expectations. And you? What's a fine young lass like yourself doing on Burnhouse Lane? I don't want to stay here. I smoke like a chimney. Ah, cigarettes. A dirty habit, but I don't judge. I've had my share of bad habits myself. I know the bittersweet taste of addiction all too well. Oh, that's right. Me judging Jenny for her drug addiction, but I have a bit of a smoking issue as well. But at least it doesn't change my behavior, where she was being a complete jerk earlier. He's the man with no face. How should I know? He didn't tell me his name. I don't think he can speak at all. All I know is that he brings people here once they're paralyzed. Then he coats them in hot wax so he can turn them into statues dressed as crew and passengers of this fucking ship. He's left for now. You know why? Yes, you guessed it. He's getting a bath of molten wax nice and ready for you, cause darling, oh God. you're about to be dipped in that shit from head to toe. So, uh, perhaps it's best that, well, you prepare for it, mentally. No. Oh yes, yes indeed. 
I'm already half dead inside my wax shell, darling. Just waiting for the suffering to end. All oh, thanks to that. What would you even call him? Um, no face man. <laughs> that's the that's uh, the sculptor and the curator are like official sounding names, but I'd call him the fucking asshole. And I'd say that's rude, but justified. Are you saying that all these sculptures have dead bodies inside them? Oh yes, and all the ones up on the main deck too. Some are quite old, all rotten inside, barely holding together. Can't you tell by the stench of death? Your fucking arsehole has been quite a busy bee. <laughs> and the worst part is... I know. The worst part is... We'll soon join them. At least the pain will stop. It stops when you're dead. Right? Right? Molten hot wax? We can't eat. We can't do anything. But no, I can be saved. Well, I'm not gonna die like this. Give me a moment to think. I admire your willpower, darling. But I've tried everything. We are gonna die here. You're also negative. No, I should have never set my foot aboard this ship in the first place. But you know what they say. Curiosity killed the cat. But satisfaction brought it back. The cat! That's it! I should try the cat power! Mila! Mila! There's no way I'm gonna let the fucking arsehole do to me what he did to everyone else here. There's gotta be a way to escape this nightmare. Murphy. You hang in there. I'll get us out soon. Just save yourself if you know how. Me? Well, we both know I'm already done for. Don't say that. The last cat that came to the farm. I think she'll help if I call out her name. But what was it? Mila. Mila. Whoa. Oh, dude, what? Oh! Okay. Kitty. Kitty. Listen. Listen, we gotta go fight the bad guys. What? Nothing. The corpse inside must be too rotten to move. Fuck me. You're seeing this too, lady? Oh! What? Wait, I'm playing it. I'm using the cat power to possess someone else? But not the cat directly? Oh, I look like death. I guess smoking does that to you. Not that it matters now. There's a jar of eyeballs here and some heads on the table behind. I really don't like how so many people we come across, they're always so negative, like, well, you're gonna die soon. Especially freaking Arno and now this guy too. No, we're a fighter, we're gonna live, alright? Oh my gosh. Okay, noted. Noted. There's a big crate up there. Too bad I can't reach it. I mean, if I exit and go up? That's not really how that works. We'll control this body for now. Well, this body is okay for us to control for some reason. This is as far as we can go. Okay, we need another body or something then. Murphy? The body inside doesn't respond. I guess this one's been here for too long. We have multiple bodies. Okay, so we can probably sacrifice one of them by sticking it to the the sharp thingy. Oh, is that a crowbar? It's not doing anything. I guess the corpse inside needs to be fairly fresh for me to be able to control it. They're not even alive, they're just corpses, period. Okay, so what if you stay there? 
I'm sorry, I, uh... Not sure why I did that. Because I can climb on you if I do that. Oh my gosh. Could I not have climbed with... Oh, because it would have gone back up. I need the thing here to make it stay. Oh, it's gonna die. Oh, jeez! Well, that's great. Ooh! Oh, okay. Oh, we're getting somewhere. We have a mask. Oh, can I give Angie the mask? Is she breathing in the- Ah, don't breathe the sea air. Why was there a masked person inside that crate? Well done, lady. You did it! This poisonous air won't trouble you now. But, before you leave this dreadful ship, and I really hope you do, could you do me a little favor first? Kill you? Yes. Thank you! Find something big and sharp and smash me to pieces with it, would you? Are you mad? Why would I do that to you? I'm in so much pain. I just want the suffering to stop. Please. I've been here for so long. I'll welcome death with open arms. Uh, I'll think about it. But we might be able to save him if we don't do that. Although there's no guarantee that could happen. It looks like a huge jar full of eyeballs. Wait. There's a brass doorknob stuck in the middle. Oh, what did it say earlier? The cork won't budge. Oh, there's a doorknob inside the jar? For me to use on that padded door? The cork won't budge, so we smash it. Let the eyeballs hit the floor. We sure we don't need an extra eyeball? Didn't I see a door missing a doorknob somewhere? All this broken glass. Maybe I should take a piece? Mmm... I don't know if we can come back here later on, though. It would be easy to cut myself with a glass. We have to find the cat. Find- Oh, moonlight, not available. Cat dead. Oh... The bowl's empty. Do we have to feed the cat? Murphy. Oh, I can't interact with Murphy. I thought we had to use the glass to kill him. There's a million of those mannequins in the back. It's a small vent. I wish I could use it to crawl out of here, but I'm too big to fit inside. I can climb this. Be careful, Angie. Oh god, looking above scares me already. Ah. Uh. Oh good lord. Dude, the way they're like entirely looking at the front of the screen is scaring me. They're not looking towards the side. It's a large metal valve. Maybe we shouldn't touch it? Danger! Turning both valves fully may result in steam pressure exceeding the safety limits. It's a large metal valve. That TV looks like the one back in my house. Oh shoot! I didn't actually mean to jump down that quickly. Okay, yeah, because I'm pretty sure on the other side. Could we explore a little bit more first? Raking the coals. The guy dresses the people up as well, like... Oh, okay, I can only jump down. I thought we could go on the other side, like up... Above here? Curious about that wrench-looking thing. Thought we could try to pick it up. The empty bowl, I'll remember it for now. Should I just touch the valves? Oh, 
Seems like a bad idea. And that's what we're all about here. It won't turn any further to the left. What did it say again? Steam pressure exceeding the safety limits. I don't even know if that's a good or bad thing. Ah. Uh, it won't turn any further to the right. We've committed. Oh. Shit, the valve broke. The valve's broken off. I can't turn it by hand. I need the wrench thingy. Okay, we need to go get the wrench thingy then. Well, we gotta figure out how to get to the wrench. Oh, there's an axe. Is it some kind of creature? It seems dead. Oh, what? What the hell? What is this? Some kind of fleshy blob with legs? Ugh, reminds me of fucking spiders. Why did I even take it? His big pile of meat is blocking my way. If we put the creature in the bowl, can I summon a creature that will eat the meat? It's the only thing I can think of right now. Like a cat? When we were playing as a cat, it was gigantic. You saw it, right? It was like a gigantic cat on the side. But will the cat eat the meat? I guess we'll have to see. I see you found your little one. I found something. A creature. But I don't know what it is. Put it down somewhere, will you? We'll take a closer look. Here? Ew. A good little boy, isn't he? What? Those legs. Good God. Just look at him. He's almost starved to death. Feed him. He belongs to you now. Feed him? With what? Just give him part of yourself. That's what mothers do. Oh, God. Which part? Feed it a part of yourself, he says. But which part would it be? I can't actually do it yet. Uh... A small slice of my own finger? Will you cut your hand with glass? Ugh. Ow, ow, ow. You don't have to make it that big, okay? Just a little bit. Oh, I thought we had to summon a thing with that as bait, but this is the creature. Just look at him run! Oh, there you go. Got the wrench. The little creature knocked it off the shelf for me. Is it trying to help me? But... Why? I'm its mother now? I don't... Whatever. Let's just focus on getting out of here. I know, right? I'm dying for a smoke. We've been here for too long without a save point. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, but I can't get the axe now, can I? Can I get the axe? Yes, I can. Oh, but I can't get the... Ah! I expected the little creature to eat the meat, but I don't think that's how that works. It just kind of left, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm still being blocked by the meat. But now we can get across to the TV. What's an old TV doing in a place like this? Uh, if we can bring it back for George, he needs a new TV. Did that help? I 
I mean, the meat is still here. Can we burn the meat? This cable came loose when I kicked the TV down. Electrocute wall of meat. Ooh, that's kind of like resuscitation. Okay, that's a little bit less like resuscitation. But hey, it's gone! Here's my axe! Why do I keep finding and losing it? The downfall axe. Okay, we have an axe now. I hope fucking Arsol feels really mad when he finds his TV smash on the floor. He's gonna come get you, don't say that. Uh, what can we... We can just hit random meat with it. Not even really. Can we kill Murphy with it? Wait. Oh, I thought I saw something on the ground. I need to escape is what I need to do. Nope. I'm not sure if I really want to kill Murphy, but if that's what he wants... Okay, maybe that's it. I, I don't like how they keep looking at me like that. I, I really don't like it. <laughs> Angie has knees of steel. This is it! That axe! Hit me! Shatter me into pieces! It is time for my agony to end! Are you sure? Are you sure, Murphy? Yes, and again! It's time for the final blow! Oh, it's back to eat. Oh, damn. At least we ended his suffering. Murphy? What the? Ew! Ew! A head grew out of it! Jesus Christ! Did it just eat Murphy's head? You'll come with me, sir. Ew! A weird creature. It seems to have absorbed Murphy's head, and yet, I don't feel it's a threat to me. Actually, I think it kind of likes me. Okay, well that's, uh... It's important to make friends wherever we go. Important that people like us? O okay. Maybe I can bring this- Oh, do you want to go here, little creature? Where the hell are you gonna... Oh! You're smart! Oh, now I can climb up more. Hey, little dude, are you done already? Oh, I guess we're not picking it back up. Okay. Oh, I really don't like this. It's so dark. Oh, hello. What? Did the guy freeze fish as well? Fish man creature. Oh, oh, there's a freaking mannequin right at the very end there. Not a mannequin. A dead corpse covered in wax. What the? We are on the lifeboat? So we should go back to the padded door then, which is before the boat, right? Yo, I really need a smoke. I can't talk to anybody here. Okay. Hopefully we don't run into the guy. The air is different here. All those fans must have cleared it. I think it's safe to take off the mask now. Well, why? Why? You're gonna have to go back out later anyway. Cans? People have been living here. Oh, thank God. 
<laughs> Just make yourself at home. Sure. The air out there is still poisonous. I better put the gas mask back on. Ah, it's because she needed to take it off so she can actually smoke here, I see. Make sense? Ooh. We have a banquet. A feast. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! I have a desert eagle. But I only have one bullet. Mmm, can I use the axe? Do you want to try it out first? Oh, this might be okay. Hold on. Hold up, hold up. Oh, great. Great. Oh, no. No. Maybe I should just use the gun, but I don't know. We only have one bullet for it, so I d Damn. Oh! Oh! Ooh. Okay, let's let's give that another try. The timing for the axe is a little bit We've got to be pretty meticulous. But I wonder if the gun would be like a one-hit kill or something. Oh, this is actually pretty okay. Oh, not like that. What even is he? Oh no. Oh. Just out of curiosity. It's no use without ammo. Oh. I have one bullet in the chamber, let's make it count. Well, I have it reloaded now, but... We can equip it here. Mm, so I think we could have used it, but I'm okay with this. Maybe that's like our ultimate weapon then. One bullet. Save it for something that really counts. Okay. What? Okay, maybe it's a good thing I saved it then, because what the hell... Uh... Should I save again? Did it even save just now? I don't want to do that again. He killed some of these people. Like, not by... Oh, I can't go back. Not by turning them into wax? Some of them have, like... Wait, this is the third time, isn't it? At least, that we've seen somebody being impaled in the abdomen. That specific imagery has come up quite a few times, I think. Alright. We got two doors. Never mind, we got one door. Uh, or no doors, really. I can't go into either of them. Maybe we're meant to just go back to the beginning then, the padded room. If I can even go down. Okay. I'm done with this ship. It's time to get back to the museum's entrance hall. As long as things don't go south. Well, we know the guy's still alive though, so I'm pretty on edge right now. If we can at least get away from this... seawater area. Was that open before? No. Hmm. I 
I'm sure I saw a door missing a doorknob somewhere. <laughs> yeah, that's how doorknobs work. Just stick it on the wall and it'll work. Psych ward. Oh dear. Oh, okay. So you can wield the axe, even if it's safe. Oh. Ooh. My name is Rob. My name is Rob. Remember Rob. It's one of those wax figures I seem to be able to control. Too bad he's behind a thick wall of glass. Wait, these are... these are psych wards? It feels more like... Jail cells, really. Okay, hold up. I just wanted to see what was at the end of that. It's pointless. He won't hear me. We're separated by the soundproof glass. I can't. Not yet, anyway. What are all these machines? Experimenting on the people? In some way? Psych ward might be a... Like a hospital kind of thing. I'm a nurse. He looks pretty mean. I'm glad he's just a wax figure, not a real person. Oh, these keys are made out of wax. I don't need them. Looks like this place has its own PA system. Ah, I can say Mila here. One of the fuses is blown. There's a note attached to the pipe with a piece of tape. The note reads, We wired all the ETCs together yesterday as per Dr. Bright's request. I told him the system couldn't handle this much power all at once. And that's why the fuse broke? It keeps blowing the damn fuse, but he can't say I didn't warn him. If this happens during your shift, just ask him to give you another fuse. He's always carrying a spare in a pocket of his coat. Mila. Hopefully the doctor we're looking for is the one that we can possess. My name is Rob. The wall is covered in writings of a madman. The name Rob gets repeated dozens and dozens of times. It's an apparatus for electroconvulsive therapy, a popular solution back in the old days. According to the note I found earlier, some mad doctor had wired several of these together to further increase their power. Very ethical. Now, that's just asking for trouble. Nothing happens. Looks like there's no power going into this machine. Because the fuse is broken? Hmm. Don't think there's another host we can take advantage of here. Oh! Oh, whoa, there's above sections, too. Oh, lord. Ooh, this guy- Oh! What the hell? Kieran? Why is Kieran here? What the hell? Oh. Oh, there's a mad doctor. Really? Is there really nothing else I can possess? Just the one guy? And there's nothing else for me to do in this whole place? No, there's gotta be something else. Oh, as Angie, I haven't gone upstairs yet. Maybe that's it. Kieran? What's he doing here? No, he can't be real. Nothing's real in this place. Be careful of that doctor guy. It's a wax statue, though. Yeah. Oh! Creepy old doctor watches the room. He looks stark raving mad. 
There's my fuse. I found an electric fuse in this pocket. In a doctor's pocket. Okay. So now we can get the guy to turn on the machine then. Which... What would it do? Electrically convulse somebody? Okay, do we have to turn it on? No, it's working. Mella. My dude, you went back to the beginning yourself! Oh. Oh, yo. Oh, okay. That Ooh, it means I can't go past anymore or can I? I can climb up. I can reach Kieran. <gasps> you see in the back there? There's somebody on the wall, chained up. I'm not sure what it is. It's so dark in here. Yeah. It's a body bag on the floor too, isn't it? there identify yourself right now or or I shall obliterate you what wax figure of a dead man is hanging on a rope his guts look so real they are real oh you could be him in disguise sneaking up on me what's your name not the fucking arsehole <laughs> I swear I'm gonna shoot you right in your ugly face if you don't tell me who you are. Is Kieran stuck in the burn house lane as well? Or is this some figment of my imagination? Are you gonna kill me? Don't kill me, please, Kieran. Go on. I just want to know your name. Tell me your name. It's Rob. My name is Rob. Who goes there? Identify your... How do I tell him my name? It's Rob. My name is Rob, damn it. Oh! Oh, I see. My name is Rob. Rob? Yeah, I remember you, Rob. You crooked, thieving priest. What? You old perv. You stole my shotty, you bloody bastard. Well, eat shit, motherfucker. <gasps> the father's name is Rob? I completely forgot about that. Ooh! Okay, maybe not the right... Uh... No, it was the right thing to do because we wanted the body to go down here. That's pretty much it. Yes. Oh dear. With a bit of creative thinking, this pipe could be useful to me. Javelin throw. This strange device seems to be missing a lever. Smart. Oh. So you're holding on to the lever? You... Can you continue talking to Kieran? Or just... Okay, that works. Oh, Kieran's gone. Sorry, mate. I'll need you down there. One holds on to the lever. The other moves on. It's some sort of contraption. But what does it do exactly? You'd expect to see this kind of equipment in a carpenter's workshop, not hospital.
The saw blade looks sharp as hell. Can we not? The body's already like charred up. Do I want you to come over? I don't know if I could do that. Oh, do we need both sides to have- hold on. Can I even take that off? I can. So you can remove it and put it here. But then I- ultimately, what do I want? Do I want the thing to be pulled on both sides? No, 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 not you, the other one! The other one, dude! Yeah, I wanted you here. How do I get another lever then? Is that what we're trying to do here? Because we need to pull both of them at the same time? This machine? It's not really giving me another lever. Oh, hold on. Cut pipe in half! Yeah, that's what I intended. I didn't just come here to see randomly what would happen. Okay. Mm-hmm. We can probably stop this now. Feel kind of bad for them. Hmm. No, that was just a dude again. Now I can go in myself? Be safe. Keep distance. Cell block 4A. This wooden barricade looks pretty feeble. Maybe an axe or can I dash through it? No. Oh, oh. Kind of weird how Kieran was randomly here. But I think that reinforces that this is all happening in Angie's mind. It's taking like fragments of her memories to build this place. Well, well, well. Just look who's here. Again. I don't want to fight with you, Jenny. Can we be friends again? About that. Look, Angie, I'm not really a good friend material. I never said I was. I never said you were. I'm just pissed at the whole world right now, and you're part of it, so... Yeah, I just want to be left alone. You're suffering from withdrawal symptoms. That's why you've been such a dick. Oh, yeah? Your constant smoking reminds me of how I used to do it. So, thanks for giving me nicotine cravings. Thanks a bunch. There's nothing like a secondhand smoke when you're trying your hardest not to think about it. But it doesn't matter now. Oh. I wonder if secondhand smoke can really get people back into their addictions. If so, that's kind of... That does suck. Because you can't always control stuff like that. You can walk away, but maybe not even every single time. Jenny? She's gone. Oh, 
pleasant. Smoking, you know what that means. It's about time the guy comes back, right? It's corpses everywhere. Oh, the the roots again. The torch is very the architecture style is different. <laughs> okay. Feel better carrying an axe anyway. Makes me feel tougher. Uh, do I still have my torch? Wow. Couldn't get the axe off in time. Can I just run? Can I? Oh! Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Are we supposed to be able to kill her or... You know what, I don't care. Let's go. <laughs> I tried a few times and I couldn't get the hit in at all. Like the timing for the axe just... Seems to be extremely strict or... Maybe I'm just supposed to actually run. <laughs> oh! Angie! Tricking me! Ah! Here we go, lady. the axe so many times, but it wasn't it. Especially when your opponent has a chainsaw, I guess. Father Rob's shotgun. It's the same shotgun? Yeah, my mind is... It's starting to get crazier and crazier. We're seeing Bloody Mary again, but without a head, because I, I stomped on her head. Hospital bed. Oh, the mountain of skulls. Are you... Are you serious? Oh my gosh. The, <laughs> the distance! Whoa! Okay, that health bar looks a little bit... No, you know what? That can't have been it. Oh, I'm sorry, Angie. Oh. Mila. Oh. <gasps> this is meant to be like that? Oh, I wonder if I should have used the gun there, though. Because I still haven't tried it yet. The Desert Eagle. For the shotgun, I didn't have any more bullets. Mila. Oh! What the? Oh, okay. Oh! What on earth am I looking at? Ready chainsaw W. Oh, do it again. Chase him down. Okay. 
Damn, is Angie okay though? She got hooked on that thing. Her actual flesh and all. Oh look, it's that... It's the old chest from the... Father Rob sex dungeon. Everything's blending together. No wonder the architecture was looking different again. It was the same as that church. Okay, goodbye, goodbye. Clocks. Candles and all. Who are you, faceless man? Who really are you? James? James? Mm. Am I? My husband. No. You're alive. You're safe now. Take a deep breath, Angie. The worst is over. At least for now. That hook should have killed me. And yet... I'm standing here talking to you and I feel no pain. Oh no. How is that even possible? I'd say, even in the worst nightmare, you get to have that one time the luck's on your fucking side. Oh. Don't you think you deserve that? I killed the fucking asshole. I thought you'd never die. But I outsmarted him. Feels good. I like that. Every single time we've been struggling to defeat the evil people. This one time, we it looked like we were going to lose, but hey! The world is not against me. Sometimes I get lucky, and... I, I get lucky! I get to live, too! I get to win! Are you really here? I think so, but... I... feel like we don't have a lot of time. I'd like to hold you in my arms one last time. Just in case we wake up and find it was all just a dream. At the back of my mind though, I wonder if I'm dead already. That's why I don't feel pain. Mm. I've missed you, Angie. Those two years we had together, they were the best years of my life. I'm scared, James. I feel like I'm losing my mind. I used to pretend I was strong. I tried to be there for you, to support you. But when you died, it felt like I died with you. Nothing mattered to me. I was a broken fucking shell. I'm sorry. I didn't want that. Did you know I got sick with cancer too? Yeah. I'm dying. And I can't even blame anyone. Because I did this all to myself by smoking all those fucking cigarettes. I tried to end my life too. That's just... Fuck's sake, Angie. Why? Why would you do that? I was so confused. But it didn't work, okay? So for now I'm just... Hanging around. Waiting. Waiting. Yeah. I remember that. Just waiting, and waiting, and waiting. How 
How did you get here? I'm... I, I'm not really sure. I've been away, wandering the empty streets of a city I didn't know. I was cold and lost. But then I found something, and I instantly knew that it belongs to you. I, I had to give it to you. What is it? I'll take you to it in a minute. It's a reminder that sometimes not everything's fully lost. Remember how happy we used to be? I didn't think it was possible to fall for someone like that. Like, in the movies. A lonely young nurse meeting a handsome stranger. Who also happened to be her patient? We didn't care about any of that. I wish we could say the same about your matron. Yeah. But she was just jealous. <laughs> she probably wanted you for herself. Oh, I looked like a fucking rock star back then, but... A dying man isn't exactly the best husband material. Even for your matron. You were in remission. We thought... Well, shit happens, don't it? Yeah. Do you ever regret... Um... Any of this? Getting involved with me? On the level we did? Just to get your heart broken? What sort of stupid question is that? I'm not even gonna answer that. You know, there was something about you I could not resist. It was like kissing a vampire. You know it's a terrible idea, but you do it anyway. I'll take that. But only because I love vampires. <laughs> I know you do. Shit. I wish I was a vampire now. Yeah. So do I. Vampires don't get cancer. You don't know that. Does come with me imply dying? Picking a, a cancer patient as a husband, smoking, knowing that it'll eventually lead to lung cancer. If we try to look at these decisions logically, it's very stupid. But it just highlights that people aren't logical, right? You can't calculate it out with 1 plus 1 equals 2. Come with me. Yeah, I will. We've got to find a way out. <laughs> I... I can't lose you again. It was bad enough the first time. I'm so sorry. I know. But I've always said one day I'll be your get out of jail free card. And I'm here now. Just tell me one thing. How many rules are you breaking by being here? Oh, I don't know. I guess all of them. I don't want to die, James. I'm not ready for it. I found Burnhouse Lane and discovered its secrets. I can survive this. There's a cure. I've almost got it, but sometimes, deep down, I start thinking, and it feels like I've been sent on a fool's errand. All this stuff can't be real. How could it? It's fucking ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. You've said you've almost got it. It would be crazy to give up now. And what if I lose? Then we'll worry about plan B. But right now, it's time. We must go. Close your eyes and count to five. I've got a little surprise for you. Something that'll put a big smile on your face. One. Two. Three. I'm so rule abiding. Four and a half. Four and three quarters. 
five. Turn around. Moonlight! <gasps> oh! But how? Oh, that's not good. You're dead. Yeah, that's what I'm worried Come about. Come on, Angie. Do I really have to remind you how many lives cats have? I knew I had to bring him back to you as soon as I saw him. A friend you'd lost. A friend reborn. He'll guide us through the dark. All we need to do is follow him and stay inside his light. The moonlight. Or else the darkness will take us. I feel like I've seen too many dead people, supposedly dead people here. To make me feel really comfortable. Oh dear. Oh! What the? Okay, well I'm, I'm very glad Moonlight is back. I'm very glad. That felt like a secret back there. Yeah, Moonlight's back. Moonlight's back. Well, let's go then. You should know that I'm friends with darkness nowadays. Really? I'm a big girl. Doesn't scare me anymore. The darkness I'm talking about isn't just the absence of light, Angie. It's a state of mind. Exactly. And she's my friend. I call her Brenda. Yeah, well, stay close then or you'll make Brenda very, very angry. Well, moonlight shines brighter than my torch. That's a good thing. <laughs> Are we going home now? I think I've had enough burn house lane for one day. What's my task today anyway? We never got a thing from the burned cat. It never told me anything. This time we just got dropped here. Well, killing the fucking arsehole probably was part of it. Which we did. Oh! James? James? <sighs> Goodbye, my love. It's like James, with his last little bit of strength from the afterlife, pushed me back into the realm of the living. It's kind of what it feels like. It's a big drop, but I don't think I have a choice. Thank you, James. I won't waste this chance. No broken limbs? Okay, I'll take it. It's Burnhouse Lane. We don't get broken limbs around here. We just get steel pipes impaled into our abdomens, that's all. Moonlight? Oh! Hey! You're too fast! Oh! Long time no see. Did you get smaller? My apologies. I was waiting for you and I dozed off, I guess. You did take a long time getting here, to be fair. Yeah, well, it wasn't easy. But I'm here now. Yes, welcome. Did you really have to drag me down here? This place is... Hell. 
It's dark and it's warm. That's what cats like the most. Well, I'm not a cat, and I hate it. I did what you asked. Can I go home now? I honestly thought you'd give up by now. But you are a persistent one. Four tasks completed. What can I say? Impressive. But you're not quite done yet. Uh, I don't know. I feel like the burned cat in general has been nice to us. It's the one giving me a chance to live again. If what it says is correct. Apparently its motive is just to help out somebody who has a potential of making it out of here. I don't know. Sometimes I don't know if I should thank you or punch you. You wouldn't do that. No, I wouldn't. I might look like a monster, but you know that deep down I'm just a cat. And cats are many things, but they're never evil. That's not what I heard. Really? And who's spreading these false rumors? Uh, the dog owners? Ah, yes, they would. <laughs> but no one takes them seriously, do they? Listen, it's time for the final task. Are you ready for it? No, but give it to me anyway. <laughs> then listen carefully. You must tell someone the whole truth about yourself. The good and the bad. Oh. And all the dirt. Like you would to a best friend. If you had one, of course. But you can't hide anything. It won't work if you do. Why? What's the point of this? You must rid yourself of all this baggage. You people hold on to it for way too long. That doesn't seem difficult. <laughs> I'd rather face another serial killer. I don't know if Jenny... We were getting somewhere earlier, but I don't even know if that was a real Jenny. Jenny is the closest thing I can talk to, but I mean, George, George can listen to me. He seems nice. Fine, I'll just talk to Jenny. Mm, as long as you tell her everything and she listens to it, that should be just fine. Oh dear. But wait, how will I know if I've told her everything? You'll know because once it's done, a man called Mr. Fox will arrive at the farm. Let him in. He'll be so hungry he could eat a horse. Oh God. Offer him food, but never speak to him. Do you understand? You cannot say even a single word to Mr. Fox or, well, just don't. He's very peculiar about it. Is he gonna eat Richard? <laughs> okay. Well, that's gonna be super awkward. Yes, well... There's that, and then there's dying of cancer. Good point. I know. I'm just... saying. At least I won't say the wrong thing for once. Once Mr. Fox is fed, he will go, and you will follow him to a place on the moors. He'll show you a spot where you must dig a hole and recover a treasure buried underground. With that in your possession, you will finally be able to remove the illness from your body. Oh, he will also require a drop of your blood, so don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, I got it. I think. One drop, right? Good. Go back now, get some rest. You're gonna need it. Richard! Oh no, another dead thing that we're seeing. Go on, hop on his back. He won't bite. He's here to take you home.
If you say so. This one sounds like the least demanding task, but yet I feel like it's probably going to be the most demanding. Emotionally. Mentally. I don't even know if Jenny wants to listen to me. If not Jenny, then George. After that, I don't know. Richard. Yeah, I noticed earlier they were the wording they used specifically was that Mr. Fox could eat a horse. I don't like that. I don't like that wording one bit. Don't take me just yet, Grim Reaper. I'm not ready. I got a whole life to live. <laughs> 